there's a you know, history behind my family and I wanted to tell the wow, story. Wow. Introduce a band to us, like who's in the band? And, uh, oh, great guys. Um, Julian Chown is the producer who's, um, you know, he's absolutely a gorgeous guy. We've had our little run-ins when we're in the studio working together, but without him, Maxwell wouldn't be. Mm. Um, you have Tom, the bass player. You've got Charlie, who's on guitars. But before Charlie, there was Adam, and I want to still give him props, Adam Lovely. Mackey. He, Lovely. you know, from the beginning he was there, but uh, unfortunately Adam had to move on, and um, Charlie is now coming and taking over from him. And then we've got Johnny, who's a, just such a sweet guy, and he's our drummer. And uh, you've also got, um, so I've got Johnny, T Charlie, and Tom, and then you've got Lee, who's just a guy artistically. He's done everything with us from wow. day one. Our, you know, engineering, our, everything we do. He's uh, he's like our little backbone. So that's Max Lord, really. Lovely. There's another question here from um, in, from Nigeria, from Bandole Ayodele. He, hey. <laughs> he wants to know what it takes to keep a group together, because it's not easy. A lot of bands sure. just break up and. Uh, they don't stay together for long. How, how are you guys doing it? Patience, understanding, um, admit when you're wrong, mm. um, try to not hold on to any grudges and you know move on. So I suppose that's all part of understanding, but it, it really is. It's hard work. Um, you know, we've had, we've, luckily we've only had like two changes. Mm. Um, but there's no love lost yeah. um, because it, you become bitter. So uh, in the, you know it's just it's just really hard work, sleepless nights and hard work. Um, it's funny because on my way coming over here today, yeah. I was actually sitting back and thinking of the band, thinking, God, I wish someone else would just do everything and I could just get up and you know. But unfortunately, it's not like that. Yeah. If you want something, you've actually got to work for it. And uh, I've never been handed anything on a plate, so. Mm -hmm. This is how I've made my bed, and I've just got a lie in it. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd have it any other way. And guys, when you have a beautiful girl in a band, it's not easy because there's a lot of temptation. So that's, <laughs> that's just for me. But anyway, I've never tried. You know, but somehow they, they, they manage and they do well. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Public Enemy. I think it's wicked. Because I'm a big fan, you know, so, really? yeah, oh so please God. tell me about that. You've got to tell us oh about that. Oh, my God. That, that was just unbelievable. Was it here in I England? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were shocked, you know, when our agent, we got a really big up to Serena, my agent. She's absolutely amazing. She's stuck with us through thick and thin, wow. you know. I mean, we had label interest, and the label is literally, you know, I mean, everyone has problems with labels, and our label just literally messed us around. But she's always stuck with us, and... Um, it turned out that she said, oh, public enemy, you know, want to know if you take the support. And we were like, wow. Did you have to ask? <laughs> uh, no, seriously. And um, Chuck D was amazing. Absolute gem. The whole band, that everybody, you know, shockingly, everybody was, it was an experience and a half, you know. And they were, they were humble. If you think these guys were like, mm. guns in their entourage or whatever, Again, it was a learning experience. They never treated us like it was us and them. Yeah. We were all on the same path, yeah. but there was a respect, which is something some people tend to feel when they're in the, in the music industry. They won't respect each other. Yeah. It's like, I think I'm better than you. Well, I'm afraid to tell you that you're not. Mm. We all started out the same way. Yeah. You just had a bit more luck than others. And you know, it's just a case of, if you respect each other, then the respect will come back to you. Yeah. And that it says that you've written with um, two writers. Yeah. Alan Glass. Um, yeah, he's written for Alan Glass is a, a, a oh, oh, what does he say? Oh, love Alan Glass, love him to bits. Um, he, yeah, to he's, X. yeah, he's written like with Mystique, Liberty X. Wow. Um, uh, what was that? Lighthouse Family. Apparently, he's written, wow. yeah, apparently when I went to his house to write, it was like all these people, Rita Franklin and wow. uh, Billy Ocean, there was all wow. these plaques on the wall, and I was going, me? I'm here. Wow. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, what the, my first kind of kind of dance hit, I worked with him, and then um, we got it remixed, and then it did yeah. well in the house charts and stuff mm. like that. So. Bruce Elliot. Oh, Bruce Elliot Smith. He's written for Kylie Minogue yeah. and stuff like that. Um, who else? Quite a few people I've written with. Wow. Yeah. And the film Brothers with the remake Groove. Oh, we did Groove in the Heart. Groove is in the Heart. Yeah. 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 I love that song. I love that song. <laughs> yeah, we did a remake of that. And Mosquito was hungry for your love? Oh, uh, yeah, the Mosquito Boys, was it? 
Fagan. I think they're from Brighton. Um, sorry, guys. But yeah, that was another old track we did um, that did quite well in Europe. Um, Hungry for your love. Wow, 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 wow. Um, I'll just go to um, a, a, an experience you had mm. that we spoke about um, off screen. Mm. I don't know how much you want to say, but um, you know in life a lot of times surprises come your way, something mm. that you don't plan for. And a lot of people, especially in this country, get depressed and they don't want to go on with their lives anymore. Mm. They just want to give up. Um, I would like you to share from the, the stuff you've gone through in life, what one should do you know, when one comes you know, across adversity and all that. Um. Well, the faith you need is to stand in the rain for a start and try to do an interview. <laughs> okay. And know, is it worth me standing here? Yes, it mm. is. Otherwise, I'd probably say, I'm sorry, I'll do the diva thing and go, I'm going home. Mm. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm not um, well, uh, faith. Faith. Um, I had an experience where I thought I'd never be able to walk, sing, talk, wash myself even know when I was going to the toilet. Seriously? I'm serious. And this was like four years ago. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I'm not going to go to, you know, my close friends and my family, all the people around the world that knew about it. Yeah. Um, just not just not far over there, I think it is. I spent in that hospital, St. Thomas's, like nine, ten months, you know, lying there wow. thinking, oh my God. Oh my God, am I ever, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, I don't think, oh my God, even crossed my mind. It was a case of, you're lying there thinking, how did I get here? Mm. And even everyone else, they, you know, when the doctors said that I'd only had 24 hours to live, yeah. it was a case of, I'd already gone into a coma by that. That's what I heard and that was it. I slipped into a coma. So when I woke up, I had not realized the enormity mm. of what was going yeah. on. But all I was saying was, I just started writing an album, yeah. and I need to make this album work. And that's all that I remembered going all those days in the hospital, and all I kept saying, God, all I need you to do is just get me out of this bed so that I can sing these songs that I've just written. Yeah. And when you've got, you got to survive, you do what you've got yeah, to true. do. And it's been a lot worse off than me, but what I'm saying is, just like all the other people that started in Africa and stuff like that, yeah. They survive every day. Yeah. They they wish, they pray, and they, they work out, is this where I need to be? And so it's survival. So yeah. for me, it's it's having that faith and that survival. Again, I wasn't thinking about it, but it must have been there. It's something that's rooted in everyone's mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was it. Tell us about your other songs. We spoke about um, two earlier on. I know you have more. Tell us about them. Ah, uh, you mean the Maxwell songs yeah, in general? Yeah, the songs. Uh, I wrote Fighting Back, that was to tell about most of my, my near fatal experience. Um, Stuck Like is about basically, you know, uh, we all want the, the image, you want to be part of something. But to be honest, the, the truth is be yourself, because it's best to be free. Because yeah. when you get caught up with the, the society, you find out that you're not you, you're somebody else. Yeah. So that's what Stuck Like is about. Um, a West Me is where I love somebody, but I didn't love him enough to be with him. And all I wanted to say to him was, arrest me for failing to love you. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm guilty. Um, but hey, you know, at least I'm yeah. apologizing. Um, stranger, when I said bye bye, <laughs> I said, still, let's not be, we can be friends. Not, but we, we, still, we are still friends, you know. So, it is a journey, that whole Maxwell thing is a journey, it, the whole thing. And, and because the music is different, um, Maxwell is different. It's got a bit of, you know, it's got a bit of Lennox Kravitz and all the people yeah. that's influenced me over the years in music. My dad used to be in a sound system, for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. So my dad used to take me out to all the music, you know, the years ago in these little streams and I used to sit on top of the speaker and feel the music pumping. You know, you get to learn and grow up with all the Otis Reddings and the Al Green, but then I love rock mm. music. Oh, Al Green, you touched me there. <laughs> you know, so then I had like Aerosmith and I like yeah. Nirvana and then mm. I like, you know, that whole I, 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 Metallica and stuff like that. So, yeah. and Foo Fighters, you know, so I have a crust of music of people that I like. So what I did was I infused it. Mm.